In the town where I was born Lived a man who sailed to sea Hey there. Uh, this morning, in honor of Yellow Day, we're going to look at a particularly nifty bit of integration between a side shelf component and a composite app component. Case in point, the calendar entry creator, which is a note-based component. We can see in the sidebar here, I have a Second Life Events plugin, which uh, peruses the Second Life site and looks for events that are scheduled there. We can look for information. We can get details on a particular event. And the feature that we're adding is the ability to click on this button here, Add to Calendar, and have it create for us and fill in a calendar entry with the data from the event. We can save to the system. To implement this feature, we have to take it in a couple of stages. First stage is to make sure that a composite application page with our component on it is actually visible and on the screen. The second stage then is to perform an ad hoc property setting. It's kind of like creating a virtual while to set the value in the calendar entry creation component, which then does the business of popping up and displaying the calendar with the populated data. Now, a page in a composite application is, in Eclipse terms, a perspective. So we need to look for that perspective and launch it if it's not there. Starting off, we have the reaction to our Add calendar button. We call a function from there. And in here, we get of the current perspective for the application. If that's equal to the perspective we're looking for. That's great. We can go off and do the business. Otherwise, we're going to have to actually launch that perspective, as we can see in the call to the switch to calendar event here. How do we know what perspective to change to? Well, in order to make the application a little generic, we created a preference page where you can type in the perspective that you want to switch to. Now, perspective names are rather long and intricate, so I added an additional feature to use current that allows you to paste in the currently displayed perspective. Back to Eclipse. In the switch to calendar function, we use Eclipse API here. We get the workbench, we get the window, and then we just call on it, show perspective, and that big long number that we happen to have and save into the environment. Now, because there's some latency in the UI, once we do that, we have to wait for the calendar to be shown. Quite simply, that function just goes and gets the current perspective and checks to see if it's the one we want. And if it isn't, it, it waits for a little bit and goes back. If it just can't come at it up at all, it assumes there's some sort of error and bails out. Once we find the actual thing, we then call the send to calendar function to actually do the data mapping. The data mapping takes several parts. First, we have to find the action. That is the recipient. We know that this page is supposed to have a component on it that has a action to create a new calendar entry. So let's look into that function quickly. Find calendar action function calls a, uh, calls a get action function on the action helper. This is code that's made available with the composite application library. You can look at the details yourself. But basically it goes and asks the property broker for any actions that meet the profile here. We don't really care about the owner, so we pass in an empty string for that. And then we say set create calendar entry. Once we have the actual action and that we can connect to it, we get the data. We just map the event to an iCal format because that's what's taken by the action according to the spec. We invoke the property broker. Uh, we create a value based on the value we have. The property broker needs a property broker value. Uh, and then we get the, uh, we find the target, which is based on the view ID and the secondary ID of where we're going. And we use a page helper to get us of that, because it's um, we need to go find it out in the workspace. And then we call a call actions on the property broker, and that sends the data over. You can read more about the calendar entry creator component in the composite application library and its documentation. You can test it out using the unit tests also provided there. Basically, it uses the loader script functions to uh, open up a new form in your calendar and populate the various fields. All pretty tried and true thing. So you can use, imagine how, even if you're not a user of Second Life, how a similar sideshelf application could be written to integrate into any sort of other system you have that has, you know, optionally included event data to promote that to your own calendar, or you know, pretty much use the same sort of thing to create any sort of form to do what you want. Yellow submarine, we all live in a 
yellow submarine, yellow submarine.